What is up, comic creators? Uh, welcome to Friday Bible Study uh, on our channel here. I'm not going to post these every Friday, but it's just something that uh, I do for fun because I find and draw a lot of uh, leadership principles and all these things from, from Scripture. And I actually believe that a lot of the stuff we'll go over is... Um, acceptable and uh, useful, not even for people who just uh, are believers, but even people who uh, would identify as unbelievers to the Christian faith, I still think you'll be able to find um, some usefulness from this. So I hope that you see that. So this article that we're looking at here on the New York Post talking about how IQ levels have dropped uh, recently and for the first time in decades was really what sparked this kind of thought for me. I'm not saying I'm providing an answer, but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, it's posted back in March. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys kind of where this uh, conversation is kicking off and really going into um, uh, the principles uh, that we're going to be uh, reviewing and all that kind of stuff here today. Um, and I hope that this uh, helps you. I think um, there is a, a starting point at which you can begin this stuff. And I think that this, uh, this will uh, greatly uh, assist in that. And so uh, just kicking it off. Uh, right here let's go ahead and jump right into it and uh, get started but but you know we have this uh, IQ level uh, thing happening you have a bunch of different stuff going on and really it begs the question of like where do does like uh, wisdom and knowledge uh, begin like how what is the baseline like what is the first thing you should do in order to start gaining wisdom and knowledge and why is there so many people in the world uh, that you would think um, are behaving in a foolish way like what causes that how is it that people come to foolish conclusions how is it but conclusions how is it people that uh how is it that pe people come to you know behave in a, in a foolish manner all those kinds of things and um w you know where does it start how can, how does it uh get better and that's where I think that this will, uh, this this study will help you. And, and so for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be going through and just picking principles out of the book of Proverbs uh, in in uh, the Bible, which is uh, basically the book of wisdom. And I think it will help. Um, and I think we can have, uh, you know, try to do one proverb and just kind of talk about it and, and share uh, and, and talk about where this all starts. And it's, this is the proverb right here. Uh, that we're going to focus on it's proverbs uh one seven literally the book of wisdom in the bible and a collection of uh wisdom texts collected over centuries and this is where i think that you'll be able to draw good principles from this even if you're once again you don't identify as a believer this is still going to be applicable in your life but it starts off like this verse seven the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge fools despise wisdom and instruction uh, and th I thought that was really good, essentially saying, you know, the fear of the Lord is where it all begins. And um, when you get into the verses and when you get into understanding, like, you know, this is, you know, written in Hebrew and uh, in Greek and Aramaic and all these different languages that are written in the Bible, you have to come to the place of understanding that in any form of translation, like even translation in today, if you're translating words from like Japanese to English or Chinese to English or Russian to English, whatever, you are going to uh, have issues in translation and you're going to have to use varying words to communicate meaning. Um, in, that sometimes doesn't exist in the other language. And so I'm going to pull this up. This is biblehub.com. This is the interlinear section, Proverbs 1-7. Uh, very, very helpful, useful tool uh, that gives everyone the chance to do this. But essentially, in that verse, um, it says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, wisdom, and instructions fools despise. So uh, when you go in there, you can see the fear is under the um, uh, Strong's Concordance uh, 3374. When you click that, you can pull up and see it's from the derivative of Yara. Uh, and um, it means a fear, very basic. And you can see all the tools you have here. But when you click on the uh, derivative of the word, um, you can see the Hebrew Yer. And there is where you can pull up afraid, fearful, um, and you can also pull up uh, and see like it's an adjective and it's uh, a, a part of uh, fearing, uh, morally reverent, afraid, fearful. So like there's a reverence to, uh, you know, when you follow the word of God. And so here's where I want to get into this. When we, when you're, when you're breaking this down, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Like it's it's a fear like you have to be afraid of the reality of the position of what you're in it's acknowledging who you are 
and and that you are you are approaching something that is far beyond you in the sense of like god is far above you and there's a reverential fear and respect that you go into and in understanding that you don't know everything and you are not all powerful and there's something more powerful than you at work here and you need to keep yourself in remembrance of that place that you're in and i feel like this is where it starts this is how knowledge actually starts i have heard from so many people including like if you're a joe rogan fan you've even heard joe Rogan talk about this, how at some point in their lives, uh, many, many leaders have talked about this, that they got to a place where they came to the understanding that they are not as smart as they thought that they were. They were not as intelligent as they thought that they were. And, and that they needed to understand that they were always in a place where it's like, I can be wrong. I can do morally uh, reprehensible things. I am very capable of doing that. That is where the start of it is. Like I am not a perfect person by any means that I have hurt people. I'm capable of hurting people. I am capable of doing evil. I have done evil. Uh, I, I need to have uh, an understanding of my position when it comes into situations that I can be so caught up in things. And so like, I am right in this. I am right in this. I am right in this. And then it turns out that I'm actually wrong and I'm very wrong. And so it's coming to that place where you understand your position and who you are and the reality of the Lord's position being uh, a, a reverential fear respect of of him and who he is and that is the beginning of knowledge because that means you're actually teachable like you can learn in that respect and maybe you're not of the faith but the principle here is understanding that you are very capable of mistakes and that in any situation that you enter into where you think you could be right you very well could be wrong and then the that next second half fools despise wisdom and instruction despise a part of the definition there is literally disgust you become disgusted with the idea of receiving wisdom and instruction because you are so caught up in the fact that you are the center of your universe and that you can't be incorrect and so therefore you're unteachable and you can't receive instruction and you can't be uh taught uh uh to and, and and grow in that way it even it's come to this place like in reading this like a, a principle that i've put into practice in my own life that i hope this helps you is is when i come into a conflict with someone anyone uh one of my co-workers uh, someone i work with someone in business someone that i disagree with whatever the case is a family member whoever you come in and you acknowledge right off the bat and you say and is what i say every time i can be wrong about this i know that there's a possibility that i might be wrong in this situation so I'm just acknowledging, like, I, I think I'm right in this and, and I can explain to you why I think I'm right in this, but I'm very, um, I'm very well aware that I could be wrong. And then the next question that I ask is, do you think you could be wrong? I'm not saying, I'm not asking you to admit that you're wrong. What I'm saying is, do you think you can be wrong? And if that person, and I've had people say this, say, there's no way that I could be wrong, then it's like, okay, then I'm not really interested in having a conversation with you because there's no point. If you can't admit and, and, and submit to the fact that you could be incorrect in whatever it is you think is right, no matter how, um, no matter how convinced you are that it's right, you and you submit and say, well, look, I, I know I can be wrong about this. However, uh, I do believe I'm right in this and here's why. That's the beginning. That's the beginning. From that point forward, you're either gonna be teachable, you're either gonna be coachable, you're either gonna be able to grow or you're not gonna be able to grow. And we see so many people stuck in a rut. I think we have so many narcissistic tendencies because now very, you have a lot of software, you have a lot of devices out there that um, can allow someone to build their own bubble and in their own world, they can they can be right. And the more people I work with, the more people I'm surrounded with, the more people that I begin to have conversations with in work and, and seeing people from different cultures, different religions, different backgrounds, the more of an understanding I'm coming to of like, I could be wrong in the situation. I could be wrong walking in. I don't have a full knowledge. I don't, I can't jump inside their head and see the world through their eyes. It's impossible for me to do that. So the only way that I can come anywhere close to understanding where they're coming from and being able to work with them is to humble myself and say, I can be wrong in this situation and I seek to understand first. I seek to learn first before I make my judgment. 
that what is is a principle that's being communicated in this very tiny verse the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge understanding and acknowledging your position in the universe understanding and acknowledging his position in the universe but then also understanding and acknowledging just the principle aspect of it that you uh, are not the center of the universe and that there is something bigger and greater than you here and you need to seek to understand what that is and you can be wrong you know, having that reverential fear reverence that respect that worshipful respect of understanding like hey i am not as big of a deal as i think i am there is something bigger than me there are people out here that are bigger than me there are there's that i need to come into the situation and humble myself and understand that i am merely human and that i can make mistakes and that i can be incorrect and that even though I have, I'm surrounded by so much knowledge and all these books that tell me that I'm that I'm correct, and all these you know talking heads that tell me I'm correct, and all these points that people are bringing up, that even in all of that, no matter how convinced I am that I'm right, I can always be wrong. And if I start there, if I start there, I have a chance to grow. I have a chance to to move beyond. I have a chance to become more and 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 become a better person, a better me. But it starts there. And, and I cannot be disgusted with wisdom and instruction. I cannot be disgusted. No one likes to be corrected. No one likes to, to admit that they're wrong. But I can't be so disgusted with it that I run from it. I have to be able to take it and come to a place and admit, you know what? I came into this conversation. I came into the situation and I thought I had an understanding of what this is, but I was wrong. And now that I've acknowledged it, I can grow. And I think that's the beginning of being able, I, 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 I truly believe that that principle right there is the beginning of this. How is it that we have so many people that can be so dumb and, and say some dumb things and believe some dumb things and, and, and go after and chase some dumb things, whether it's, you know, an ideology or whatever it is you're, whatever it is you're thinking of in business or anything. And it starts in that place, that place of knowledge, of acknowledging that, that no matter how correct I think I am, there is a chance that I'm wrong. And I need to be okay with that. And that releases the, the, the pridefulness, that releases the emotional tie to it when you enter the conversation because now you can, instead of having an argument and having an unhealthy conflict, you can now have a healthy conflict in that you are working out the um, answer between the parties or part or one person that you're trying to come to terms with or, or uh, figure out who's who's got the right answer or the correct answer. Anyways. A lot of jumbling around. This is the first time I'm doing this. I hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Is there? Would you say there's something else? I'm curious. What do you think of this? What do you think of this principle? If you are an unbeliever, tell me what you think uh, and, and, and breaking that down. And, and do you think that principle is actually a, applicable into your life? I'm curious to know. I hope you guys got something out of this. Please like, share, subscribe comment all those things really helps the channel i'm really excited for the direction the channel's going and yeah let me know what you think of this maybe i'll do more in the future try to put more every friday if i can if i can't sorry i'm going to keep up with it as much as i can i will catch you guys in the next one